What is up everyone? Welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are doing well today. As you guys can tell by today's video title, today we're going to be trying out some more fall slash autumn Primark clothing. I've just gone in and picked up a whole mahoosive bag of Primark goodies and I have so many cute outfits in there. So if you guys are new here and you guys haven't seen my face before, hi I'm Roxy, welcome to my channel. If you guys want to stick around, be sure to subscribe down below. But if you guys want to see what goodies are in Primark currently, then without further ado, let's get into it. Okay, first First things first on the agenda is this jacket slash coat and honestly the second I saw this on the hangout I knew I needed it. Look how freaking gorgeous it is. It is so thick and so like plush. I'm absolutely obsessed with it. I also really really like the collar as well. This jacket was £36. I got this in a size S. They actually had my size for once and look how cozy it is inside. It's literally just so fluffy and so warm. I cannot wait to try this on. Okay so that was kind of the base of the outfit I then found this little cardigan right next to this jacket and I just felt like it would be such a cute outfit together I absolutely love the argyle kind of pattern I think it's definitely coming back this season for autumn argyle was literally so huge last year and the year before so yeah I'm really really liking the color scheme of this it's very me very neutral and they actually had this particular like pattern slash design in two different styles so they had the cardigan but they also had like a regular sweater form I went for the cardigan just because I felt like it was a bit more wearable in two different ways. You could obviously wear it as a jumper, but you can also wear it as a cardigan. So I feel like purchasing it in the cardigan form just gives me a little bit more flexibility. This one was £19 and I got this in the double extra small. And to be honest, for a double extra small, it really isn't that small. It's quite an oversized sort of fit. Now for the bottoms of the outfit, these trousers were also in kind of like the same area and I'm pretty sure one of the like mannequins was styled literally with this outfit. Fit. So these trousers are very very relaxed very like baggy which I love the color is perfect And I managed to get this in the size 6 and these were 18 pounds and the last item that I purchased for this particular outfit I may or may not wear it, but it was this little like hat I think this is called a Baker boy style hat and I got this for seven pounds I just felt like it would look really really cute with the jacket, but I don't know it might not suit me I guess we'll see I sometimes feel like like Baker Boy hats and hats like this just make me look like Mario. But either way, let's pop this outfit on and see how it looks. All right guys, so here is the first outfit and what it looks like on. I have to say, I'm really liking the top half. However, the trousers, I feel like they may just be a little bit too baggy for me. I just feel like when I'm stood straight, they make my legs look so freaking wide. I knew they were baggy, but I didn't know they were this baggy. And I feel like there's baggy that's just baggy for the sake of it. And then there's baggy that actually looks kind of cute and I feel like this particular pair is definitely the other option. It's not really looking cute, it's just looking baggy for the sake of looking baggy. I do however think that the cap and the trousers do complement each other really well. I'm going to show you guys how the coat looks done up because the coat is actually very very cozy, it's very good quality as well. I mean look how cute that looks, do I not look like some kind of pilot that's about to take off with my Baker Boy hat and this coat? It's giving airplane pilot Pilot Couture. I am here for it. So yeah, let me know what you guys think of this outfit. Do you like it? Do you not like it? I personally do feel like it's very different for me. It's not to say I hate it, but I do feel like I could style all these pieces individually slightly differently and more to my style. Actually, let me show you guys what this outfit looks like without the coat too. The cardigan is giving. I really, really like the fit of it and I feel like with a different pair of trousers, this could be a really cool look. So overall, the outfit probably deserves like a six but individually the cardigan is a 10 the trousers are probably like a three the baker boy hat is okay i'm probably gonna give it like a three and then the coat is getting a 10 out of 10 okay now moving on to the next outfit we're now going to be trying out this sweater and again as soon as i saw this it just screamed autumn to me it's making me think of like a pumpkin patch worthy kind of outfit i just love the color so much i love the fact that the orange is paired with this like beigey sort of color. All of these tones are just so like pumpkin spiced latte. That's what this is. This particular sweater is actually from the Rita Ora range and this was 17 pounds. It's actually made from 50% recycled polyester. That's awesome. Now I got this in a small, but as you can see, it's a very like oversized kind of large 
jumper. You could maybe even wear this as like a jumper dress. I feel like with like a pair of leggings, this would be such a vibe. However, for this outfit, I had something a little bit different in mind. I wanted to actually go for these super baggy looking cargo trousers. I mean, I wouldn't say they're exactly cargo because they don't really have any pockets down below, but they do have like this stitching, which I think is really cool. It's got pockets in the front as well as one pocket in the back and it is actually a functioning pocket, which is great. I got these in a six because I really wanted the like waistline to be super nice and snatched. These were only 10 pounds. They were actually in the reduced to clear section. They were 18 pounds originally, which is pretty good. So again, let's try these on together and see how they fit. All right, guys, here is the next outfit and what it looks like on. First things first, I am in love with this sweater. It is so gorgeous, so oversized, and I just really like the fact that it's quite thin. What I'm really missing in my wardrobe right now is pieces like this that are like really lightweight, but still warm, still got the long sleeve, and still just feel really nice and cozy. I have a lot of super thick jumpers, but then something like this is just so nice because you can lay it over it. You could also lay it under it and it wouldn't feel too thick. I feel like this kind of jumper could really do with maybe like a turtleneck peeking out. I just feel like that could look really, really cool and very like Pinterest. Also, I feel like this sweater was completely made for these trousers. Like look how well the trim of this jumper pairs with the trousers. I actually have to say I way prefer these trousers. The way they fit is just so nice. Look how high waisted they are. They're really, really flattering even with like a crop top. They look really great on the front as well as the back. Let me just see if I can tuck this in and show you guys how that could look. Okay, is this not a look? I'm just obsessed with the color combo. It just works so well. I'm giving this whole outfit a 10 out of 10. All right, moving on to the next item. We're now gonna be trying out probably the cutest cardigan I've ever seen and it is this. I've been really getting into like wearing cardigans as a top so I feel like this is perfect because it's quite a nice like tight fit. The color and the fabric texture is so freaking stunning. It's like a fuzzy boucle type of fabric and I really hope it's not going to be too itchy but honestly it just looks so cozy and so cute and expensive. I got this in an extra small and this was 17 pounds. I absolutely love the little like gold buttons. I feel like this with a pair of jeans would look so great. I think I will pair this cardigan with the previous trousers that I've showed you guys in the previous outfit and just see what they look like. Okay, and here is the cardigan. I actually love it so much. I feel like, again, like I said, it can be worn just as a top like this. You could pair it with a skirt. You could pair it with trousers. There's so many ways you could wear this. You could also actually just wear it as a cardigan, which is what it is. So you could obviously have it open and have like a little crop top underneath or something. I don't think I would wear it like this just because it looks kind of weird but yeah, definitely done up all the way or not at all. I also have to say that to my disbelief, this does not feel itchy or scratchy in any way, shape or form. It's actually really nice and cozy. It feels very warm, very nice. So I'm gonna give this cardigan probably like a nine out of 10. All right guys, and the very last outfit we're gonna be trying out is a little bit more like chilled and casual, maybe something you would just wear at home. The first item we have is this oversized kind of like teddy bear Sherpa sort sort of fleece. It's a zip up hoodie, as you can see. It's actually got like a regular sort of hoodie lining on the inside, but the actual hood outside is also, you know, the Sherpa sort of fleece fabric. I absolutely love this because it's super like cozy and relaxed, but it doesn't seem to be too thick. And right now we're sort of in the weather where some days it's like really, really cold. Other days it's like kind of warm where you want to just wear layers, but not be too hot. The temperatures these days are just so volatile. So I'm just like, constantly either hot or cold. So yeah, I feel like this would make a great little throw over at home or out and about. And this was 14 pounds, which is pretty good. And then to go with it for the bottoms, I found these sort of jogger style trousers. I seriously wish that you guys could actually feel them though, because they feel so nice and so soft. They also have that like cinched in waistband at the top, which is definitely very jogger like, but the bottoms are just completely straight, kind of like yoga pants. I just really, really love the color. I feel like they would be such a great addition to my wardrobe. They have actual real pockets so you can put your phone in. And yeah, they just look very like casual, but also put together at the same time. So let's go try on this very casual and cozy outfit and see what it's like. Okay, and here is the last outfit and what it looks like on. I have to say, this is very cozy. It is literally what I want to live in 24 seven. The trousers.
trousers are like super long as you can see they're basically touching the ground even though I'm wearing my like super like high platform shoes so yeah short girlies just bear that in mind these do go quite low but to be honest it's okay because I'm only intending to wear these around the house so it doesn't really bother me too much this is what the waistline looks like I do think they look very very flattering with like a nice top these could look really cool as for the hoodie this is what we're dealing with I'm not wearing anything underneath so I can't exactly unzip it to show you guys but yeah I really really like the fabric it's very cozy the quality actually actually feels really really nice and the hood let's see what that's like okay the hood is actually very large I like it oh my gosh this is gonna be great for like winter as well it just makes me look like a little snowflake also I've just discovered the sleeves have thumb holes I'm literally in love I love thumb holes I think on a scale of 1 to 10 you guys best believe I'm giving both of these items a 10 out of 10 I just love cozy outfits like this all right guys so that was everything from my Primark shop today I really hope you guys enjoyed seeing what kind of pieces are store right now for autumn as always i had so much fun at playing dress up with you guys in my room i really hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did make sure you smash that huge thumbs up down below and be sure to subscribe if you haven't already also let me know in the comments what kind of videos do you guys want to see from me because i am a little bit at a block here I've been doing this for so long now and I do feel like I go through phases where I know what to film and sometimes I'm just like I have no idea I've literally filmed everything I could possibly film so if you guys have any ideas of actual videos you want to see on my channel then definitely comment down below thanks so much for watching and I'll see you guys in my next one bye Mwah.